Hello everyone. I have something to tell you. Someone was, is, was, maybe more soul was more sick and I got in contact with that person and I wanted to help. So that person told me that if I would give him a certain amount of money, he can go to the hospital. You know, he was, I believe he was coughing up blood or something like that. And my mind was really on that. So I agreed to give him the money. And before I agreed, I believe that person told me that he can pay me back at a particular date. Okay. Maybe a week or two or three after that, I was contacted and told that person wants more time. And I think very fast something came to my mind. Either that person is not going to pay you back or that person is hesitating to pay you back. Something in that sense and I was not okay with that. I believe if you make a deal with a person, go with it. But I told him, or I told someone to tell him pretty much okay, like um, how much time do you need? So that person gave another date, okay. Maybe a week or two before that date, that person contacted someone to tell me that person wants more time. So you gave one date and did not go by it. Now you have given a second date and did not go by it. So I forget how I was, but I believe I was a bit annoyed. Now I could call the police on that person and get that person in trouble. I could. But the thing about it, I owe someone money. More than one. More than one person. a company, and a person. Probably more than that, I don't know. So, the person I owe is not pressuring me to pay back quickly. 
as far as now. <laughs> so in a sense, I guess I can say that person is showing me grace. Okay. How can I, a person who owes money, is being shown grace how can I punish someone that owes me money when the person that I owe is not punishing me? Please think about that. You owe someone money, but they are being very patient, very understanding, very gentle and whatever else but let's say you have the nerve to be very rude be very mean or trying to punish someone because they owe you money how wicked is that how evil is that You want grace, but you show contempt, if I am using that word correctly. Think about that. And let's use other things other than money. What if you are shown so much kindness? How can you be very mean or very rude to other people? Now, when it comes down to respect, I believe you should be respected. And if someone is purposely disrespecting you, you may have to back away. But if someone is showing you so much kindness, shouldn't you be showing others kindness as well? We don't want to be, or we should not want to be, selfish people. Think about this. In this world, I believe we are going to be judged based upon how we behave according to the Bible, to what applies to us, because some of the things in the Bible don't really apply to us. Certain things. Okay. So, so if we are going to be judged based upon stuff that is in the Bible, like, think about this too. How empty this life would be if you only see it as... You know, you go to work, you eat, you sleep, maybe have a family, then you die. How purposeless of a life is that? Like, who really wants to live in a life to where that is all there is? Like, why even live if life has no purpose? I hope this makes sense. Life does have a purpose. In this life, yes, we are graded. I believe we are graded based upon the Bible. And I believe that includes being there for others. 
helping people. We can't have it in our mind. It is all about us. It is all about what we can get and everyone else have to do it on their own. Like every man or woman for themselves. No, life is not about that. I believe too, if you live selfishly, I think you are going to have a very hard life. Very hard life, I think. So, I hope you learned something from this. Yes, I want to get paid back, but when the third date comes, I believe that person told me, actually told someone to tell me, I guess that person is going to pay me back August 1st. I don't think so. So what can I do? Be patient and understanding and compassionate because if that person is truly playing games playing around i believe that person will reap what he has sold i can't by no means punish that person as in do something to where I get that person in trouble. No, because I owe money. There is, I believe there is a verse. Is it a parable? Pretty much a story. Let me summarize it in my own words. Pretty much a story of a servant. And I may say this wrong. The servant owed his master money. And the servant, let's call that servant, servant A. The servant was asking for like mercy and whatever else. And the master forgave the debt. Okay. So servant B owed servant A money. And if I remember correctly, servant A was being real rough with servant B, demanding the money. I believe he placed servant B in jail until he can pay back the money. So, the other servants told the master what servant A did. And guess what? Servant A had to appear in front of the master. And pretty much the master said to him, something like, you wicked servant. Like, how come... Why didn't you forgive your fellow servant's debt as I did for you? So, servant um, A pretty much got punished the same way as he punished servant B. <laughs> so, in that sense, how can I do anything to that man? Hmm? Even though I want the money back, even though I borrowed him the money because I felt, I guess, compassionate toward 
his health. So how can I put that man in jail? How can I do something to make his life, I guess, more difficult? Like, what will happen to me if I were to do that? Especially when there is an example of something a little similar to what I am going through. An example kind of of it in the Bible. Please think about that. If we are on this earth to be tested, won't stuff like this happen to us to see how we react to it? I think so. I may not pass every test, but let me pass some, right? People may betray your trust. People may do things to you to irritate you, I guess I can say, but let's not do anything wrong. Let's not go eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Be able to forgive, be able to move on. Let me stop here. God bless you.